that's just what's so clever about this writing yeah. is that how can you, you know, take something that's already so creative, so original, so imaginative and keep weaving these new stories yeah. that have development and depth and growth. And all of them too. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. I love this show. Season two is amazing. Right. You all are fantastic in it. Oh, good. That's really kind. Thank you. <laughs> uh, can you talk to me a little bit about working with David and Michael? Because I love each of your characters' dynamics with Crowley and Aziraphale. They're a gift, really, aren't they? Yeah. They're a gift to work with because they're so... They know what they're doing. They're very present. Mm. They know how to play. They know how to be a good scene partner. And they make a lot of space for you to get stuck in it's yeah. with with genuine generosity. It's kind of like they're very impressive, but they're not intimidating. Yeah. yeah. And I think I think also, you know, second that 100%, and then off screen as well, which is, yeah. is really, is really quite, yeah. it's just so easy. And I think that the, the atmosphere on set, it was just so easy going, so welcoming, so supportive yeah. Yeah. that... Um, I think a lot of that just it comes from the tone that they set as yeah. well. Them along with mm -hmm. Neil and Douglas and everybody else. It's just you you take that, you know, so you know that when you're coming into work, it's just it was really welcoming and it didn't feel intimidating at all, like mm -hmm. you're saying, you know, mm -hmm. I'm like, Oh my days, I'm acting with David Dunn and yeah. Michael Sheen, you know what I mean? They're just like they let you in. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. It's kind of a joy to do the show with them mm. because it, it is their show. We associate it with them, but they don't act like that. No. Mm -hmm. And that's the great thing. They let you in. Yeah. And so not, you, not for them, with no, them, exactly yeah. as you said. Yeah. 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 It's lovely. Yeah. Shelly, you take over Beelzebub this season. What yeah. did you, how did you want to capture the essence from season one while making them your own this season? Well, I mean, I was very lucky to be able to um, see the amazing creation that Anna Maxwell Martin portrayed. I just loved what she did. Um, and I was lucky enough to be handed the exact costume that she wore. So there was something a bit transformative in just climbing into that suit mm. um, with the wig and then with my own little tweaks on it. Um, I don't know where. I just had this idea. I wanted, like, these fishnet gloves. They were like, yeah, and literally I posed as as a question and somebody ran out of the room and came back with, <laughs> oh, I was like, Wow. Okay. <laughs> and we just tore them a little bit and we remembered which one was a bit longer and all that kind of stuff. And then the hat on top instead of the fly. And it it just it felt like an invitation to accept what had come before, mm -hmm. somehow digest it and not think too much about it because you can get caught up in that. Um, but just kind of like use it as a springboard and... Um, jump off, you know, into mm. what was then, you know, it's it's the same world. It's um, it's just a different chapter. I love it. And then I thought all of your characters had such amazing arcs this season. What was your favorite part or the most surprising part of each of your characters' arcs? Well, for me, it's the end, so I can't reveal, <laughs> can I, you know? Um, for the, but for everybody's character, I just, they everybody lands somewhere that you were like, wow, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And um, I think that's what is so, want, you know, that's just what's so clever about this writing yeah. is that how can you, you know, take something that's already so creative, so original, so imaginative mm. and keep weaving these new stories yeah. that have development and depth and growth. And all of them too. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, um, I think fans will love it. Mm. And maybe even people that didn't know they were fans, you know. <laughs> Did you guys have a favorite part of your character's arcs? Honestly, I think it's, for Muriel, is very much this experience that they got. I think they're just having, for the first time, this sensory overload. <laughs> it's like, it's just even the sheer experience of having a human body for the first time. And it's, it's so childlike and so curious. And just, um, I think I'm... There's so many little moments. And also then I, I think it's that. It's the coming to Earth for the first time. It's just Disney World. <laughs> Absolute Disney World. I want to go on all the rides kind of vibe, you know, twice. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. I think for Seraquiel, it's sort of, yeah, taking the challenge and moving forward with it. They have some instincts about what's going on. They kind of, because of the hierarchies, have to make the others think that it's their ideas, mm. really. But really, it's theirs. And so I think going with that, we sort of see their potential as, as why they're pretty smart and, and, and see things. Mm. So despite the sarcasm and jadedness, there is a kind of like, right, what are we going to do? We've got to do it. Okay. This is it. So I like that. She doesn't just sit in her office and, mm -hmm. you know, do nothing. It's like it is a call to action. They've got to do this. And, and uh, on many occasions, I think they kind of lead that. They get it going mm. with, with your help, of course. Your help. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for taking the time to talk to me. Like I said, the show is amazing. I want season three now. So <laughs> I'm so excited for more people to see it. Good. Thank Great. you. Thanks, Thanks so, so much. much. Thank you.